I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of insight into what's been going on on my free-to-play baby account, which I remind you guys, I will be giving away once I finish the missions and get Arbiter. When I get Arbiter, I'm giving this account away. This is completely free-to-play. So let's start off by showing you guys where I am with the missions. We finally started doing Ice Golem 10 on auto when we were able to get past that mission. Now we're kind of stonewalled here on this mission because I just do not have silver. But once I get silver, what I'm going to do is finish booking out, or not booking out, maxing out this piece, and then I'll probably get this six star sword and put it here. That way I can, it'll count as six out of six. And then I'll just put back the the initial um, shuriken or whatever that, that's called. That the source has right now, the double, what are those called? Shurikens? I don't know. Oh, and um, I just wanted to talk about um, something else in regards to the market as well. I've had somebody ask me, when should you invest in the market? So the market is down here. And what I would do if I were you is I would not unlock anything in the market. I wouldn't pay the silvers or the gems until you see ancient shards. When you see ancient shards, that is when I would start unlocking the slots. So here I'm getting these two ancient shards here. I'm going to leave that alone because there's no ancient shard there. I'm going to save those resources for what I might actually need right from the get-go. So again, when you see ancient shards in the market, that's when you're going to want to invest. When you're going to want to invest in the market and then you're going to uh, want to unlock everything. Until then, do not uh, buy or unlock any of the slots. And if you want to know how to run multiple accounts at the same time, I'm going to link a video down below. I finally have Saurus built out, able to do farming. He's doing stage 12-3 at 13 seconds so far. Now, he's not exactly at the 6 second farm capability level yet because he's just not hitting hard enough. So what I have to do is add more attack and add more crit damage. I'm still working on it. Again, he doesn't have full gear yet fully maxed out gear and he doesn't have masteries yet that is something that i'm waiting for now as you can see my best time is 13 seconds and usually that is what i'm getting 13 to 14 seconds now it did take a while to get this as gavin did point out a while ago because saurus's stats are going to be a little bit on the lower side trying to get Saurus to do farming for stage 12-3 Brutal on a 6 second to 10 time frame is going to be a little bit harder. Let me show you guys where he's at. These are the pieces of gear that I have on him. You get crit damage, attack, attack on the boots as well. Remember, you don't need him to go fast. You just need him to go faster than the waves and to smack as hard as you can. We have attack here on the ring as well crit damage on the gloves i do want to take or not the gloves the amulet i want to take this up to 12 at the very least bring this up get a little more attack and of course these are the sub stats so when we're building out source what we're prioritizing is at least 103 speed because that's the minimum amount of speed that you need to go faster than the opposition in 12-3 brutal I am trying to aim for a minimum of 3.5k attack because in the past that's what I've learned that that is all you need for stats um, to clear out the waves and then a little more crit damage to get me there. But once that's there, I guarantee 6 second farmer, 13 seconds is still significant. Now if I were to use Kale, I could have started farming 12-3 probably a lot sooner, but he does it in like 45 seconds. Even if I were to kit him out. It still takes about 45 seconds because not all of his moves are AoE. So this is why I have Saurus because all of his moves are AoE. This one is a two-hitter. When I do get Masteries for him, coming down, we're going to take Helm Smasher. And for the most part, that is going to be where I'm going to stop investing in him because I've been focusing on him so far. That's sort of the goal. That was sort of the goal past this past week. I haven't been doing too much recording. I've been editing older videos for my other YouTube account my other YouTube channel, and I've been focusing on getting my teams together for dungeon farming on this free-to-play account and getting Saurus up. We got, when I hit a certain level, I think it was like 42, we got free Ascension resources for here and here as well. And then I reworked this by using the Chaos Dust. Unfortunately, it started out with attack percent. I should have left it there. I was hoping to get crit damage. 
but or at least crit rate but it didn't re-roll onto one of those i'll try again probably in the future maybe we'll see 13 seconds is a lot better than doing 45 seconds on average because that's what i was when i was using kale back then on average those are my run times and that takes way too long this is still significantly a lot faster it saves a lot of time the argument could be made and again this is up to personal preference right you could invest in kale because he will do work for you in like clan boss or even in other parts of the dungeon so there's nothing wrong with going with kale i'm just showing you guys that saurus can be used as a farmer would i do it again probably you know if, if i didn't have like a bellower or a skull crown then i'd probably still work on trying to bring saurus up just because Kale will fall off as a damage dealer for you in the dungeons and for a clan boss. That's also why I'm not going to bring him up to 60. I'm going to leave him at 50. We have Apothecary. Almost fast enough to go faster than Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong is going at 190 right now. For my arena team to work properly, I do want him to go... Oh, no, 191. So I do want him to go 192. And once I get that gear, I'll be doing just that. I did take a note from gavin who built his apothecary in a relentless set relentless set will give you an extra turn uh, extra turn an 18 percent chance it used to be 23 18 percent chance to get an extra turn so when this pops off it pops off and apothecary is already naturally fast so this is pretty nice to have him in a relentless set it's it's a fun set to have him in i happen to pull a blessing on him as well and we're going survival instinct to fill the champion's turn meter in terms of my other champions, Sun Wukong, still not fully booked, but he's smacking decently. Not the hardest, but he's doing okay. 191 speed, 2000 attack. I was going to use him in, an, in a hybrid build, but I figured I prefer to have him in a nuking build because I have two Sun Wukongs on my main account, and I just like him a lot more as a nuker. Uh, that's I'm more privy to him. I've got a higher predilection for him as a nuker. Jamarsa has been coming in clutch as our reviver especially for the dungeons for an example in ice golem oftentimes my team is going down they're dying and jamarsa is able to pick everybody back up a great aoe reviver also great for the other dungeons as well rathalos is not exactly where i would like him but he's doing okay as a damage dealer for now i have been farming stage 12 of dragon keep i'm at the point where i can do this quite reliably now the goal is to get to stage 13 because that's when I can get access to six star gear. I'm not really worried about Ice Golem, but stage 12 of Dragon means I can get five star gear. So when I'm doing gear cleanses now, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for anything that is below four, um, five star, selling all of that. I'm no longer keeping any gray or green gear. Even my rare gear is starting to get sold at a higher rate. Generally speaking, if I have even one substat that is flat, I'm going to get rid of it. Except for something like this, the Rathalos set, which is gated by a, a paywall, which I'm not going to do here, so I'm keeping that. I don't want to invest in pieces of gear with such limited amount of silver that I know isn't going to benefit me too well. I'm leaving stats on the table by investing in gear that has a secondary flat stat that won't do much for me. I'd rather invest that in pieces of gear that I know can be a positive return for me so for example something like this it'll get to the point where i don't even want to keep rares anymore so just keep that in mind i, I hope that makes sense to you i can try to re-explain it at a different point but that's where i'm at in terms of gear we are not going to be going for the fusion on this account i am not going to have the resources for it so we're just going to completely neglect the fusion i did pull during this soul chase event and guess who i pulled i pulled a drek star three star which is a guaranteed champion that i will eventually be getting in terms of drek star fragments i'm at eight out of a hundred this will still probably take me another i don't know three months for me to get a drek star but that's where i'm at in terms of the referral programs to get towards chronum this is where i'm at 42 41 just about i'll get my sacred shards hopefully i pull something great there and then I'll start banging out this so I can get Chronum, a reliable AoE HP burner. We are one king easy. Now, what I could have and probably should have done is put a little bit more time into working on clan boss. And let me explain to you why clan boss is so important throughout your entire game, especially if you're free to play, is because this is where you're going to farm your shards. If you are free to play and you're not buying shards, you're gonna get your books here, you're going to get your shards here. If you're trying to build your roster out, 
it's important that you're in here doing as much damage as you can getting the top chest because this is where you're going to get better champions to be able to do things like farming the dungeons sorry this is distracting me i'm going over here so it's important early on and you're gonna hear everybody say it to work on clan boss i know that farming minotaur at stage 15 is more efficient in terms of gems but what i neglected to remember or even consider because i have this mindset of an end gamer is Sun Wukong is not going to be do doing he's not going to be doing stage 15 anytime soon. He's just not. I don't have the gear for it. It's not going to happen. So what I should have done was saved my first 800 gems and used it on Saurus so that he could have been doing his farming a lot sooner. But now I'm at the point where Saurus can do it in 12 uh, I keep saying 12 13 seconds. And because of that, we can get food a lot faster and now I'm going to start working on six starring some of my other champions i'm going to be doing sun wukong next sun wukong is going to get the six star next when i get the food for him after that we'll probably consider either rathalos or apothecary but i'm leaning a little bit more towards apothecary just to be a little bit more generally useful apothecary is an awesome champion a god tier rare champion for this account we still have yet to pull any other lego champion that is significant for this account we're doing two mil right there not exactly a one key what i did also want to hit on is a lot of people who get to this stage of raid where the sort of approaching the beginning of mid game you guys might be feeling a little bit lost unsure of what to do things are starting to slow down for you yeah polarium will make it so that you feel resistance so that you feel like you need to i can't even like right now i, I can't i can't even progress and do this because i don't have the silver but polarium wants you to feel the struggle so that you go into their shop here and you start buying all of this stuff here which there's nothing wrong with doing if you're if you're if you're wanting to do that i did it that's how i got past this huge lump yeah, it's no secret on my main account when i first started playing uh, i would just pay to get whatever i needed to get past whatever content i needed consistency is critical you just want to keep on chugging along and eventually you'll get there eventually you'll either summon a champion who is going to be your missing piece for whatever content you're you're um losing out on and the other thing is gear uh, I gotta hit on gear because gear is one of the most important things for your account. You could have all the champions, but if you don't have any gear, then it's kind of useless. So make sure you're farming the dungeons. The dragon keep is going to, or the dragon's lair is going to be probably the first place that you're going to want to farm. You guys already know that, but if you're new here and don't know that, you want to focus on the dragon's lair. Do what you can in small bursts, and if you're stuck not knowing where to use your energy, just go ahead and farm dragon or spider because that will pay off in the long run if you're at the spot or if you're in a place where you don't know where to use your energy remember that this game is not a sprint it is a marathon this isn't the type of game that you play for a few minutes and they give you everything or you play for a couple days and you can do everything this is a marathon especially if you're free to play so just be consistent don't give up you'll get there